Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of The Bub Show. As always, I'm your host, Bub Landon, whatever you want to call me. And I know, you saw the title, and you've immediately clicked off. I get it. Common mistake. Or you're listening to me right now, and you've just clicked off the video. Well, for all my Miami fans, or even ACC fans... I consider myself to be a Miami fan, but for all of you guys, or just ACC fans, or just football fans in general, because come on, we've had barely anything happen, and it's tough going through the off season, and now we got a global pandemic to worry about, to shame. So, as you probably know from the title, this is my Miami Hurricanes Prediction for the 2020 season. Um, so, I have my nifty difty piece of paper here that says all of our weeks and who we play. So, week one, UAB. Easy win. Alright, it's at a conference game, we're at home, you know, we get to start. Um, I think that's an easy win. Okay. Uh, you know, not really much to say there. It's just an out-of-conference game. I don't see us losing. Uh, so the second week is at Louisville. Now, I I wouldn't be surprised if we went into Louisville and we lost, because that's just that's just how Miami plays games. I wouldn't be surprised, but I have a lot of confidence for this defense. Of course, Gregory Rousseau, you know, one of the, he led, he almost led the country in sacks last year. Ops out. Um, and you know, it's a shame, but I feel, still feel like Quincy Roche will take care of it back there. Um, of course, we're coming off losing... Uh, Quarterman and Pinckney, which is huge. You know, they've been with us four years. They were huge guys on that defense. They were leaders. But I still feel like our defense can get it done. I'm glad we brought in Jaron Williams, guy from Houston, offensive lineman. I think he'll show our offensive line. As we, you know, Hurricanes fans know, uh, our offensive line struggled. Last year, that's probably why we went six and seven. Uh, if you remember in that Florida game at the beginning of the year, we were horrible, and it was horrible. And um, so, but you know, De'Aaron King, you know, that's gonna be his first test as a Hurricane. Um, so I'm happy. I I say we win that game. So we go two and zero. Oh. We go two and zero, oh, and then. I'm going to read you what I put on my piece of paper. We play FS Who, because we are that you. We own that you. We play FS Who at home this year. Of course, just like us. I mean, of course, we got our new offensive coordinator and Matt Lashy. But just like us, almost bigger, they have a new uh, head coach this year. Um, of course, I don't know how he's going to perform, um, of course, and they lost Cam Akers, and if you're a Florida State fan, or you're a Florida fan, even if you played Florida State in the past, like, couple years, you know who Cam Akers is, and you know how he ran over your defense and got, like, 100 yards. He was really great, and, you know... So they lost him, and that's a big deal. Of course, it would be the fourth, third year, fourth or third year that we'd beat them in the ro- in a row. And I say we go three and zero. We go three and zero to start the season. You know, a close loss at Louisville, and I feel like, you know, our battle against FSU it's at home. Remember, we lost. We won by 17 points last year in their house, and Cam Akers still ran over us, so we'll see what happens. 
Now, we're heading 3-0 into our biggest challenge of the year, by far. Uh, we're heading into Clemson, into Death Valley. Let me just say, folks, that I am very, very, very scared for that game. And all Miami fans should be scared for that game. You know why? Because we're playing in Death Valley. We're not at home. We're not at home like we were when we got our butts kicked and had the biggest loss ever in Hurricanes history five years ago. We're not on a neutral site like we were when we went to the ACC championship. No, we're at Clemson. You know how horrible that's going to be? Even even without Gray Rousseau. And that's going to be even worse. Um, and, you know, Clemson lost, uh, what was that one linebacker? Big name linebacker got drafted. Um, they're missing T. Higgins. You know, they're missing some core people. But I say it's a late, a fourth quarter loss. We're not. I feel like we have a chance to upset them. But nine times out of ten, we're going to lose that game. It's just not going to happen. So week five is at home versus Pittsburgh. Uh, we beat them last year uh, in their house. Um, I feel like it's a close game, but I feel like we win that game. I feel like we win that. So we're heading 4-1 and one to week 6. Or not really week 6. I, you know, there's like two bye weeks. There's a bye week before Clemson and after Clemson. Let me just say, folks, Miami was 0-5 last year in 2019-2020. When they when we had seven or more days to prepare. Oh and five when we had seven or more days to prepare. Keep that in mind for the Clemson and Pittsburgh game. So week six, we're heading in four and one. Virginia at home. I say we beat them again. So now we're five and one. Then we go at NC State. And that's, of course, a weird game for us because we never play NC State. You know, they're an, they're a coastal, not a coastal, Atlantic team. We never play them. So I don't really know what to say about, you know, an NC State. You know, at NC State, I don't know. I don't know their players. I don't know how they play the game. You know, it's... Because I, we never play them. The only time I ever watch them on TV is when they're playing Clemson and getting a beat down, or they're playing FSU. FS who? So I don't know. I really don't know. And so for that, and I feel like these, you know, I say we take a loss at NC State. So that puts us what five and two. So then we head to Virginia Tech. Now, last year, Virginia Tech handed our butts to us. Um, but I say this year, you know, considering we're that deep into the season already, and Dear King's already rolling, I say we take a win at Virginia Tech. So that puts us 6-2. and two. Six and two, and then we have Georgia Tech at home. That's a win. Georgia Tech's been pretty mediocre, of course. Somehow we lost to them last year. Pretty embarrassing, um, but that's a win. So seven and two. At Wake Forest. Um, I thought they had a quarterback just transfer out to Michigan State, I think. And as of the time of recording, the Big Ten and all those conferences have just quit their seasons. So, um, but I thought they might have had some people transfer out. Maybe not. I don't know. But I say we get a win at Wake Forest. 
So that puts us 8-2. and two. That gets us to the final game of the season. UNC. It's going to be Clemson, and then right below it is UNC. I cannot tell you. I am more scared for this UNC game than I am the Clemson game. Because I'm not going to be... If we lose to Clemson, it's not going to be a shock to me. It's not going to be anything to me. Because I've watched, you know, my Canes lose to Clemson twice now. I was at the ACC championship. You know, it's just whatever now. It's not a big deal. If we lo- if we win, I'll be out of my mind. I'll be on cloud nine. But if we lose, okay. I expect us to lose. You know? So, UNC. Let's just talk about them for a second. Sam Howell. Uh, last year was a freshman. He he beat us last year, and of course this year we have UNC at home. He is just really good. I remember watching him. I don't remember what bowl it was. I think it might have been the Belk Bowl. Uh, right at the end of the season, they were they played Temple. I remember it. They put up like fifty six points against Temple. And you know, I know they're they're temple, you know, they're not not the best team, but still he was like running around, he's making great throws. He is really good and um UNC's had some you know, Mac Brown is turning that program around. I remember watching them play uh who was it? Gamecocks. I remember seeing the Gamecocks just, like, choke it away. And it was crazy, because how did that happen? Because Sam Howell's so good, and Mac Brown is turning around this program. It's crazy. It's crazy, because UNC is a basketball school. And, you know, recently I know they haven't been doing so great in basketball, and they've been doing a lot better in football. You know, um, I've got to, I've got to say, we take a loss at UNC. We take a, or at home, at home, we take a, you know what, you know what, we take a win. We take a win. You know why? Because we're at home, number one. Number two, I think Dia King by the end of the season, is going to be phenomenal. He, of course, it hurts so, so much for all of these games to lose Gregory Rousseau. But, I still say we beat UNC. But I would not be shocked if we lost to UNC. I wouldn't. You know, it's just like the Clemson game. I wouldn't be shocked if we didn't. I'm still scared for them. I'm still scared to play them. But, you know, whatever. Uh, You know, if we lose, that's okay. So, that takes us out. Eight and three. Of course, with the ACC schedule this year, it's working a little different. It's not coastal and Atlantic. It's all just one. So, whoever has the two best records will get in. So, we'll see how that works. Um, You know, hopefully we'll get a good bowl at the end of the year. If we do play bowls. So, let me wrap it up for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I should be making a Clemson season prediction uh, soon. Uh, Expect that at some point. So, if you're a Clemson fan or an ACC fan or... Really, you can be a college football fan to enjoy these. You know, it doesn't really matter, especially with Clemson, because, you know, uh, they've been they've been really popular for the past ten years. Unless you've been living under a college football rock, you would know that they're very popular. So, anyways, that's gonna do it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. 
Um, sorry for the little bit of a different upload. I, you know, I just really want to make some sports stuff. So, yeah. Um, check out soon. Um, there's been a ton of recording errors, and there's been a ton of things that have happened that's gone wrong. But we are working on it. My friends and I, Highly Professional Podcast, coming soon, ladies and gentlemen. I promise it. Um, so, yeah, that's going to do it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. As always, uh, remember to stay in school, don't do drugs, and wear your seatbelt, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. This is The Bub Show, signing out.